our loving Father, God Almighty, attest Pastor Dill's ministry with immediate signs, wonders, miracles, and healings as great multitudes throng to Jesus, praising Him, thanking Him, and loving Him, our Lord and Savior. Jesus loves you, dear people of God. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So every day we must know that God is in perfect charge. He is in perfect command. He loves us. He is our Father. The Bible says... In Hebrews 1 verse 3, he holds all things by the word of his power. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Your Father in heaven loves you. Therefore, my dear people of God, no matter who you are, no matter in what situation you are, Jesus loves you. And he daily loads us with blessings. Psalm 68 verse 19. So today, something good is about to happen. Something magnanimous, marvelous, and rejoicing in your life will happen because the Lord Jesus confirms His word, His word, always with signs, wonders, and miracles. Mark 16, verse 20. Jeremiah 1, verse 12. Ezekiel 12, verse 25. He watches over his word. He watches over his word. His word is life and healing. He will heal your soul, your wounded whole soul, your wounded mind your wounded heart, your wounded body, anywhere he will heal you. By his stripes we are healed. Our sins are washed by his blood, by his blood. And we are whole by the word of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the spirit 
of the living God, Holy Spirit. So rejoice, something good, something great will happen right now as you watch this program. I, and as I humbly bring this word from our church at home, from my precious dear wife, Suhanti, and our precious dear daughter, Divina, we bring this word, but essentially, this church at home is certainly the very spine of King's Revival Church International, the parent church, Dubai, UAE, and dear people of God. And every time over the past almost 30 years in this land, wonderful land, UAE, great country, UAE, as we brought this word of God in the love of Jesus and even much before as I am serving the Lord Jesus and serving with the Lord Jesus. 1 Corinthians 3, 9, John 12, verse 26. The Lord has always, every time, confirmed his word with signs, wonders, miracles, and healings. He will do it for you. He will do it for you. Give ear to the words and believe the words. Because Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the living God. The word has power to bring faith into you and the word has power to fulfill your desires to the glory and the honor and the praises of our Father, Almighty God. So there is all power in his word and Holy Spirit brings this power into our lives. You may be sick, you are healed, you will be healed, you will be healed. And testimonies we have in our ministry, immediate, instant healings and miracles are countless, not by words, it's documented, videoed, it's in our television programs. Watch our earlier television programs. Some of them would have been put on the media. Our miracle healing rallies. Huge mammoth crowds in Africa. Indo rallies in Europe or in other Far East countries. Anywhere. And Jesus confirmed his word. Always wiped the tears of his people. He is a tear wiping father. He is a tear wiping father. He will wipe all your tears. He is here today. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. And dear people of God, as you are here today, watching and hearing, no matter who you are, he is going to do it for you. Get ready, Isaiah 25, verse 8 says, Isaiah 25, verse 8 says, He will bring victory and wipe every tear. In Mark's Gospel, chapter 10. In Mark's Gospel, chapter 10. Dear people of God, as Jesus came out of Jericho, as Jesus came out of Jericho, Mark's Gospel, chapter 10, and verse 46 onwards, the Holy Bible says, multitudes followed him, multitudes, because he had love, he is love, compassionate, gracious, Luke 4, 22, full of power, verse 32, Luke 4 full of power, Acts 1, 8, full of power of the Holy Spirit. Dear people of God, Jesus, John 3, 34, Acts 10, 38, full of overflowing power of the Holy Spirit with the compassion of the Father. Oh, he was moving. And it was a road out of Jericho. And the Bible says it was a highway 
and on the highway sat a man blind, blind, begging, begging. Dear people of God, he was the son of Timaeus, the Bible says. And he was blind, begging. He was on the highway. What a place to be, beloved ones. Because highway, no one will ever stop to bless another person. People are very busy on a highway. They go fast. They won't stop to listen to a poor man. They won't stop to give some help to a poor man. On a highway, everyone goes fast and quick. And no one hardly will even care for someone stranded, abandoned on the road. Dear people of God, we are in such a world today. The world that does not care for the broken heart, for those who are in need spiritually, in sin, in darkness, knowing not what the eternity is, those who are physically sick, financially in great adversities, no matter there is a other part of the society, community, who doesn't care for them, who doesn't care for their soul, who doesn't care for their spirits. Oh, and they are only going fast with the world. And where does it end? Utter damnation. But there are many stranded on the way, stranded, helpless. Some are in darkness. They don't know the living Father, God. They don't know the living Savior who forgives and gives us new life and makes us the children of the Most High God. They don't know. They feel even God has abandoned us. On that road, everyone feels the same. Oh, dear people of God, Sometimes you may feel even God has abandoned you or left you. No, he is your father. He is your father. Bible says, Romans 8, 15, do not fear. God is your father. That's why the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, you must remember the blood of Jesus. You must think of the blood of Jesus who forgives our sins and makes us the child of the Most High God. Jesus loves you, dear people of God, and therefore rejoice, rejoice, as I bring this word with great joy and gladness. The power of the Holy Spirit is upon you to wipe your tears, to wipe away every work of the defeated enemy. Oh, Jesus loves you. You may be on a highway, no finances, no help. Everyone is going past you, no opportunities. You may say, I have missed, I have missed all these opportunities. I am abandoned on the road of life. No, never. He is coming for you now. And one day he will come for all of us as we live on this earth, as his bride, as his children, to be caught up in midair with Jesus. Oh, with our child's generation with us, your children's generation, or in whatever way you are, then we'll be raptured in midair. And thereafter, 1 Thessalonians 4, 15, 17, 18, 1 Corinthians 15, 51, 52, and thereafter in heaven in our Father's mansions with rewards, crowns, marriage suffer the Lamb, our child's generation, your generations, all of us, praising, serving Jesus in the Father's mansions. John 14, verse 2 and 3. What a joy. What a joy. And this joy he gives us even now as he prepares us, as he prepares us for the rapture. So don't 
Look at the things of the world. Whatever your problems are now, whatever your sicknesses are now, he will drive it away. Deuteronomy 28 verse 7. Get ready. Jesus loves you. Every sin of yours, he is ready to forgive. Abundantly pardon. Isaiah 55 verse 7. He loves you. He loves you. Jesus loves you. And this beggar, no money, no family, no future, and sitting on a place where there is no possibility, no possibility in the natural to be blessed, to be taken care of. That's the time Jesus comes. That's the time now the Holy Spirit the spirit of Jesus comes when you feel it's not possible. When you feel it's not possible. Matthew 19, verse 26. When it is not possible by man, it's possible by Jesus. Luke 1, 37. All things are possible by God. He is Jesus who came in flesh shed his blood for us to save us, to save us, oh, to redeem us, to make us his children and his bride. Oh, our loving Father, Father God, Father God loves you. Rejoice. He will never, ever abandon you. Matthew 28, verse 20. Isaiah 54, verse 10. Hebrews 13, verse 5. Joshua 1, verse 9. Oh, Philippians 1, verse 6. So many verses. So many verses in the Bible. That's why the Word of God gives life and life in abundance. John 10, verse 10. Believe, believe. No matter how precarious how precarious your situation may be. It's not possible for any man, but possible for the Son of God, Son of Man, Jesus of Nazareth. Today, he is risen, ascended to the right hand of the Father, seated at the right hand of the Father. Hebrews seven twenty-five to save us to the utmost until rapture and eternal. And this man, the Bible says, heard that it was Jesus walking by. This was his appointed time now, his miracle moment now. He didn't know what was happening. He heard some noises. He heard some footsteps. And probably he heard someone from someone. It is Jesus of Nazareth walking past and what did he do he didn't keep quiet he started praising jesus thanking jesus exalting jesus just what had jesus done for him so far he had not received anything he had not received anything yet but from jesus but what did he do he praised him, thanked him, exalted him. And look at his state. He's a poor man. No family, no home, no health, no money, no future, no friends. Abandoned all alone on that place of impossibility, on that highway of impossibility. But what did he do? Even with his tears, he praised the Lord. He was sowing, even with tears, he was sowing his praises, his thanksgiving, his gratitude to Jesus. Why? Because he is God. He is God who has come as man. He believed, he called him son of David. He said, thou son of David. He believed in the words of the prophets. Isaiah, Micah, 
Jeremiah, Ezekiel, David, oh, he believed in the words of Daniel, David, he had heard. And he believed this is the Messiah, the Savior, son of David, as prophesied by Isaiah, Micah. Oh, a Savior will be born, God in flesh, in the virgin womb of a woman called Mary, a blessed woman. In her virgin womb, God's power will make bring his son in flesh and in Bethlehem. That's why we say, come back to Bethlehem. Come back to Bethlehem. My dear people of God, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Many, many years ago, five, six years ago, the Holy Spirit made me to give a prophetic word. Come back to Bethlehem. Come back to Bethlehem. It's all there in our magazines and whatever. Dear people of God, and this Jesus now heard someone calling him son of David, son of David, exalting him, praising him. And who was this man? A poor man, no money, no job, no family, no health, no hope, no peace, nothing. Such a man praised Jesus just because he is God the Savior. He is God the Savior. Will you praise him today that Jesus is God, your Savior and my Savior. He will save you from sin, from death, from curse, from punishment, from disease, from all works of the defeated hell. He will and will and continuously until rapture and eternal. My dear people of God, Jesus would have been surprised. And people around him, the disciples, of course, charged him not to shout, but to hold his peace, but to keep quiet. Because he was an unworthy man. He was a poor man whom no one even looked at. That's what the world will do. The world will go after money and silver and gold. But forget you. But the one who will never forget you, but come to you, is Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth. He is the Savior and God. And this man, he didn't stop because this was a rare, very rare, a miracle opportunity for him. A miracle moment for him. If he misses this, oh, he will never want to do this. I will never miss this time. I will never miss this moment. That's how you must come and watch these programs of ours. Oh, beloved people, oh, dear people, with such a faith that I will praise Jesus, thank Jesus, that he is God, my Savior. This man shouted more. He shouted more. He praised more. He praised Jesus more and more. Even though there was opposition. Even though they said, keep quiet. Don't shout. Jesus is walking. Don't disturb him. But he knew Jesus more than them at that time. At that time. At that moment, he knew Jesus more than them. Jesus is love. Jesus is compassion. Jesus is all power of God. And he will save you even now. Anywhere you may be, anyone you may be, from any situation, from all your sins, from all the consequences of your sins, from all works of the defeated death and defeated curse and defeated disease and defeated poverty and defeated fear, whatever. Jesus will save you. There is a miracle. There is a healing. There is a life for you, all of us. Now, dear people of God, believe, believe and believe. 
when Jesus heard this man, oh, shouting and praising him more and more and more, what did Jesus do? He stood still. Look at what Jesus did. He is the same unchanging Jesus. What he did then in the Gospels, he will do it for us. He stood still. He wanted to receive the praises and the gratitude and the thanksgiving. Someone believed him as the Savior. Someone believed him as God the Savior. God in flesh. Oh, he said, I will not go from there. He dwells in the midst of your praises. Psalm 22, verse 3. No matter who says what, you praise him and praise him and praise him. No matter how hard the pressures of life is, praise him and praise him and praise him. And for us now, we have to praise him more. He, we have to praise him more. This is always my message for years and years. Why? The blood has been shed. He is dead and risen. He lives. He has defeated Satan and hell and death and curse and all works of hell. 1 John 3, 8. 1 Peter 3, 22. Colossians 2, verse 14 and 15. Hebrews 2, 9. Hebrews 2, verse 14 and 15. Galatians 3, verse 13 and 14. Oh, dear people of God, everything is from the word of the living God. Oh, not from our minds, not from our imaginations. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 4 and 5, all referred from the word of the living God. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Read 1 Corinthians Chapter 2, verse 4 and 5. Oh, Jesus lives. John 14, 19. We shall live also. This man praised and praised and praised. Jesus shouted more and more. Even in the midst of opposition, when things were against him, when things were contrary, continue your praises. Let your praises be more and more and more to Jesus. He is risen. He lives. The blood has taken care of everything for us. Oh, he loves you. He loves you. He has given us the victory. Isaiah 25 verse 8. 1 Corinthians 15, 57. Oh, 2 Corinthians 2, 14. Take these words, oh, beloved ones. Oh, he loves you and Dear people of God, Jesus stood still and what did he do? He didn't inquire who this man is. What is he saying? No, he commanded him. He commanded him to be brought. See the command. Psalm 133 verse 3 says, Psalm 133 verse 3 says, He commanded blessing and life forevermore. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That's for all of us, our homes, our families, our generations, our ministry, everything until rapture and eternal. Oh, Jesus commands today. He stood still. He didn't request. He didn't request. He commanded, the Bible says. 49th verse of Mark's Gospel, chapter 10. He commanded the disciples and the same disciples went to this blind man, this beggar, Bartimaeus, his name Bartimaeus, and said, cheer up, cheer up, be of good comfort, rise, Jesus calls you, Jesus calls you, rise, be of comfort. Just a little while ago, the same fellows who said, don't shout, keep quiet. Now said, be of comfort, be of comfort, even in life. When you praise him continually, when you praise him and thank him 
continually as David said Psalm 34 verse 1 2 and Daniel 6 verse 10 verse 16 when you irrespective of the situation what circumstances it may be how much the pressure on your life on your finance on your family on your health on your future may be praise him and thank him he is God your savior and my savior Jesus his blood and his resurrection has done it for us you are going to receive it you are going to receive it you are going to receive it we are going to receive we are going to receive we are going to receive dear people of God and now they said cheer up come Jesus calls you even in life though even your enemies will be in peace with you when you praise Jesus when you please Jesus when you exalt Jesus even your enemies will be in peace with you so the same fellows now were on his side and they and they brought and this man what did he do he casting away his garment threw his old dress old garment and came to Jesus that is his readiness he rose through his garment and came to Jesus that was his faith he believed what Jesus is going to do he is going to save him from all his sins from all the consequences of his sin every problem every death every disease every failure is somewhere the result of our sin that's why the blood the blood the blood of Jesus is needed needed every moment to wash us save us and to keep us as his child as his true bride oh dear people of God he threw his garment because he knew Jesus is going to save him from this awful situation in life from this awful place in life oh it's going to be a promotion it's going to be a lift up he's going to be raised up in life now this man threw his coat threw his coat and came to Jesus and came to Jesus that is his readiness his expectation his faith that he was telling Jesus my old is over I will receive your salvation your saving grace your saving power your saving healing in my life I want my future from you Jesus come to him no matter where you are tell him I want my future from you Jesus from you it's every one of you any one of you Jesus calls you Jesus commands commands you to come to bless your life and to give you life tell Jesus my future I want from you Jesus oh dear people of God I remember it's all these testimonies are countless it's all in our magazines signs wonders miracles documented in our television program or whatever many years ago when I was in a country called Argentina and we had a massive Indo miracle healing rally with dear people of God very dear people of God it was a wonderful gathering it was a big church Indo miracle healing rally in South America in Argentina and there were so many testimonies instantly healed people were instant and they came and testified it's not just telling they came and testified it's all recorded evidenced but I remember one young boy I didn't know anyone 
My eyes are closed as I preach the gospel always. Before people, before people. It's only now, it's only the last six, seven months my eyes are open because I am bringing this word from our home, from my home. And before the camera, I'm opening my eyes in my home. But all these 37 years, before the people, before the people, I never opened my eyes. You are the witness anyway. And God is my great only witness. Jesus, thank you, Father. Testimony time. During the testimony, one young boy was brought. He had a massive, terrible, continuous headache, which could be migraine or sinus. Or I don't know anything. I know nothing. God knows everything, our Father. He, it was unbearable. He had tried many medications. Nothing helped him. And this affected his life, his future, his work. He couldn't sleep. He couldn't live a proper life. He was even thinking of ending his life. Unbearable pain. Oh, and he heard about the miracle life, miracle moment healing rally. And he came there. He was seated in the congregation. I didn't know anything. Holy Spirit knew everything. The pain and the agony. When the gospel was preached, the blood of Jesus was preached and the power of his resurrection was preached. His love, his compassion, his mercy was preached. Holy Spirit came upon him. I didn't know. And healed him. All that headache left him. Instantly, instantly. He waited for a while. Even the symptoms of that headache in other parts of his body, especially in his chest, it affected him. He had probably a defeated pain or a defeated various other symptoms. Everything left him. He just got up and lifted his hands and praised the Lord, came in front and praised Jesus and thanked Jesus. No more pain. That awful, dirty, defeated pain has gone forever. Even from other parts of his chest, his heart, it had, it had affected him. All gone immediately. Oh, he hugged me. I hugged him and praised Jesus, thanked Jesus. Your pain will be over. Your sorrow will be over now. Jesus will do it. Get ready. Get prepared. Expect your miracle in any area of your life. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. <clears throat> and this man said, Lord, I want my future from you and you alone. He threw his old coat, his old identity, his old protection. His old survival, he threw it off. I want Jesus. He will save me, provide for me, protect me, prosper me. And he will place me with him. Oh, believe, believe, believe today. And when he came to him with no upper garment, Jesus saw his faith. I am sure Jesus was moved with compassion. Matthew 14, verse 14. And Jesus asked him a powerful question, which he is asking all of us now. What will thou that I should do unto thee? What is it? What is it? that I should do unto you. Jesus is asking you. Your Father in heaven is asking you. Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God is asking you. What is it that I should do to you? What a personal question. What an intimate love of Jesus. 
Let not your heart be troubled. John 14, 1. Be personal, intimate with him. Don't feel shy. You will never be ashamed. You will never be put to shame. Jesus says in Joel 2, verse 25, 26, 27, 28, my people will never be ashamed. Isaiah 54, verse 4, my people will never be put to shame. He loves you. He's your father. He will give you everything good. Matthew 7, verse 11. Oh, he loves you. He loves you. He loves you. This is what Jesus is asking us. What is it that I should give you, do unto you? Personally tell him today. Don't feel shy. Tell him, Lord, forgive all my sins. Sometimes I've been in darkness. I don't know the truth. Some are in darkness. They don't know the truth. They don't know the light. They have been used to darkness of life. Feel free with Jesus. He is your savior. He will never condemn you. Luke 9 verse 56. John 3 verse 17. He is there to save us. Matthew 1 verse 21. John 3 verse 16. He is there to save us. Acts 4 verse 12. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. Confess your sins. Don't feel shy. Sometimes you don't know whether it's a sin or not. Tell him, Lord, I don't know. Forgive me. He is there for you. He is your father. His blood, his blood was shed for us. His blood will wash you. First John, first chapter, verse 7, 8, 9. Tell him whatever you need. Tell him he is your father. Feel free, feel free. He embraces you no matter who you are. The blood of Jesus is on your side. Hebrews 12, verse 24. He will heal you. He will deliver you. He will bless the labor of your hands. He will open your eyes, your ears, your body will be healed. Your soul will be saved. Your spirit will be alive to Jesus and the Father. Oh, Holy Spirit is coming into you now. Tell him. What did this man tell Jesus? Lord, I must receive my sight. Why? I am in darkness. I am in darkness. You may be in physical, spiritual darkness. Every one of us. Tell him, Lord, I want to see the truth. The truth of your love. The truth of your compassion. The truth of your salvation. The truth of heaven. The truth of victory on this earth. The truth of life that you give me on this earth. Lord, I want to receive that. Open my eyes. Oh, everywhere he will heal you. He is the light of life. John 8 verse 12. Oh, you will never walk in darkness. We will never walk in darkness. His word is the light to all of us. John 1 3. Isaiah 9 verse 6. Oh, your home, your family, our home, our family, our generation will be filled with the bright light of Jesus, the Holy One from heaven, our Savior, our healer, our deliverer, our victory, our peace, our joy. Oh, our long life of abundance on this earth and eternal in heaven in our Father's mansions. He is Jesus. He said, I am the life. John 14, 6, John 11, 26. Receive, receive life today. Lift your hands and receive life in abundance, victorious, eternal, everlasting, powerful, peace life on this earth, joyful life on this earth, holy life on this earth, a life of comfort on this earth. He loves you, wiping all your tears. 
This man said, I must receive my sight. He didn't ask for money. He didn't ask for silver and gold. He didn't ask for anything that the world deceives you with, deceives you with. He asked, I want the light of God, light of heaven, light of my holy savior in my life. I must see Jesus. I must see the future in Jesus, with Jesus, from Jesus. That's my future and my home, my family, my generation. Everything of mine until rapture and eternal in heaven. Tell him today, he loves you. He loves you. He loves you. No matter who you are, he loves you. Dear people of God, and Jesus told him, go thy way. Your faith has made you whole. He didn't say, my power, it's all truly the power of Jesus. It's all truly the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus. It's truly the love and compassion and the mercy and the grace of Jesus. It's truly the blood shed for us. It's truly his resurrection. But what does Jesus say? He is so humble. He is so gentle. He is all powerful. He says your faith. He gives that man the honor and the blessing. He says, your faith, you believed, you praised me, you in tears of agony, you praised me with gratitude. You sowed in tears. Now you will reap in joy. Psalm 126, verse 5, 6 and 7. Psalm 126, oh, when you sow in tears, you will reap in joy, all of us. So, dear people of God, Jesus said, go thy way. Your faith has healed you, delivered you, saved you. He received it all from Jesus. He received his future from Jesus. He received his future from Jesus. We receive our future from Jesus, our homes, our family, our child, our children, all of you. We receive our future from Jesus. And the most important, the Holy Bible says, he received his sight immediately, immediately, immediately. He received his sight. I remember when I was in Kenya, or Uganda, I can't remember, some years ago, we had, a, we had several miracle healing blessing festivals, mammoth, massive, huge crowds. And there were countless testimonies. Sometimes we can't even take the testimonies because the time is up, time is up. So many people line up immediately, immediately healed, delivered, saved. Simple people, humble people, broken-hearted people. And I remember once a mother brought a little child on the stage. The dear pastors who check the testimonies, who inquire the testimonies and bring it up the stage. They were alarmed and praising the Lord. This child from birth had a defect in his eyes, in his eyes. And as years grew, it became worse and worse and worse. They were from a very, very poor family, poverty-stricken family. No father, a single mother. And the school teacher said, don't bring your child anymore to school because he can't see, he can't read. You had to treat him first. They had no money, poverty, no father at home. Where will they go? So the child was at home, or almost going blind, almost. He couldn't attend school. He couldn't be in school. 
What a sad situation. Have you ever thanked God for what he has done for us, for our children, our home? The great things Jesus has done. Are we grateful? Are we praising him? Or are we just asking and asking and asking many other things? Forgetting what he has already done. Forgetting what he has already done. Today, so in tears. Praise him, praise him, praise him. This mother was there. All of a sudden, the little child's son said, I can see. I can see. I can see well. And the mother was surprised, shocked. She got up and took him to the side. And the ushers and the helpers checked him. Then the dear pastors examined him. And they brought him on the stage. Oh, beloved people of God. He demonstrated. He could see well. He could see well. There was another time. A lady. Blind, blind. I think it was in Mozambique. Again a miracle healing rally. Open air, open air with mammoth crowds. She was blind. During the testimony time, I didn't know anything. I couldn't lay hands on people, mammoth crowds, only the Holy Spirit and Jesus. Oh, and during the testimony time, she was one of those who came. Immediately, immediately her eyes were opened. And what did she do? I told her, if you can see me, catch me. And I was going around in the stage. She was running around trying to catch me. She was accurate. She was accurate. The eyes were open. Jesus will do it for you. Your spiritual eyes and your physical eyes will be opened for us. Now, our future is from Jesus for our homes, our child, our generation, all of us until rapture and eternal. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. He comes to you. He calls you. He commands to you. He is your savior and your God and mine. And this man, he received his sight. His eyes opened. He saw Jesus. He saw the world. He saw where he was sitting. He saw his old life. Now his new life, his new future is Jesus. So what did he do? He followed Jesus in the way. Jesus said, go thy way. Go thy way. You are healed. You have your eyes now opened. Go thy way. Your faith. He commended. He honored him. Because this man believed, believed and praised and praised and praised. Your faith is confirmed only with praises. Faith is confirmed only with praises. Faith is confirmed only with praises. But this man, he could have gone home. He was happy, he was rejoicing. He could have gone to his family, his friends, his work. He could have, but he said, no, my future, my future is with Jesus now, is from Jesus now, is by Jesus now. He followed Jesus in his way. He had the choice. He had the choice. He received his miracle. He received his request. He received his healing. He received his victory. He received his joy. What more? He could have started his own life again. This is what many Christians do. This is what many people do. We receive our answer victorious and our miracles or healings. Then we go the old way again. No, now let us go following Jesus in the way of Jesus. Following Jesus in the way of Jesus. Our future is from Jesus, with Jesus and 
in Jesus. The Bible says, don't make any other choice. Please, please don't make any other choice when your tears are wiped away, when miracles happen, when blessings come. Please follow Jesus in the way of Jesus. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Every moment is victory, triumph. Life in abundance until rapture in midair with Jesus, with our child's generation all from this earth in these long more years as we live. And your children, generation, in whatever way you are, and thereafter in heaven, in our Father's mansions with Jesus. John 14, 2, 3, with our child's generations, our generations. Rejoicing, reigning with Jesus, with rewards, crowns, marriage suffer of the Lamb, and so on. Jesus loves you. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to ask Jesus. He is asking the same question. What is it that I should do for you? Holy Spirit is by your side, ready to fill you and fill you and lead you in the way of Jesus in the way of Jesus. Without the Holy Spirit, we will not know the way of Jesus. Let him fill us. Let him fill us. Hallelujah. Tell the Holy Spirit, come and fill me with Jesus. He loves you, loves you, loves you. It's a new future from Jesus, with Jesus, in Jesus, now for all of us, until rapture and eternal. Dear people of God, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. Are you ready? Are you expecting? Are you prepared? Loving Father, let your word permeate and penetrate into the souls of people. Oh, dividing the bone and the marrow into the very hearts of people. Jesus, your word, your spirit, your love, your love, your love, your love, your love. Holy Spirit, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Remove every fear from their life. Remove every doubt from their life. Remove every challenges from their life. Holy Spirit, your very power. Oh, you are setting them free. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. 2 Corinthians 3, 7. Jesus makes everything new. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and 18. Jesus, a new future from you. Mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, family, spiritually. Lord, let every defeat and sin be washed away. Every defeat and consequence of sins be washed out, burnt by the holy fire. Thank you, Jesus. A new heart, a new spirit to all your children. Oh, as a bride, all of us, all of us, as your true bride, lay your hands on them. Lord, I pray that your love and compassion removes every fear. Your love and compassion removes every uncertainty in their mind. Your love and compassion removes every dirty defeat and disease from their bodies, Lord. Your love and compassion and your power of the Holy Spirit destroys every dirty defeat and death, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Every dirty defeated ailment in the blood, go away. Every dirty defeated ailment in the lungs, go away. Jesus commands, Jesus commands. I am just a mouthpiece, just a voice. Jesus commands. Every dirty defeated ailment in the heart, in the urinary tract, go away. Every dirty defeated ailment in the lungs, in the heart valves, go away. Every dirty defeated ailment in the intestines, in the stomach, go away. Every dirty defeated ailment in the blood, go away. Every dirty defeated ailment in the immune systems, go away. 
Thank you, Jesus. Every dirty defeat and weaknesses in the bones, in the nerves, go away. Every dirty defeat and ailment in the muscles, go away. Thank you, Jesus. Every dirty defeat and ailment in the brains, in the brain cells, go away. Every dirty defeat and ailment in the legs, in the bones, in the ankles, go away. Every dirty defeat and ailment in the spine, in the joints, in the neck, in the back, in the waist, in the hips, go away. Every dirty defeat and ailment in the hands, in the fingers, every knuckles, all go away. Every dirty defeat and ailment in the head, go away. Every Jesus commands, Jesus commands. Psalm 133 verse 3, Mark 10 verse 49. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus says, receive, receive, receive. Thank you, Jesus. Receive life, 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 life in abundance. Life victorious. Every dirty defeat and ailment in the throat, go away. Every dirty defeat and ailment in the lungs, go away. Every dirty defeat and ailment in the ears, in the eyes, in the mouth, in the tongue, in the skin, go away. Every dirty defeat and cancer tumors, go away. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. What you did then, you are doing it now. You are the same unchanging Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Every dirty defeat and fear of death, go away. Every dirty defeat and sins washed away. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are blessing them to repentance. You are bringing everyone to repentance. Jesus is placing his hand and embracing you, embracing you, hugging you with compassion, compassion. Thank you, Jesus, a new life, a new future. With Jesus, with Jesus, thank you, Lord, by Jesus, from Jesus is coming right into you now. Every defeated ailment, thank you. Let the lame walk. Jesus commands. Let the blind see. Jesus commands. Let the dumb speak. Jesus commands. Let the deaf hear. Jesus commands. Let those who are in ailing diseases, coma, rise and live in Jesus' name. Let the dead rise and live in Jesus' name. Spiritually, physically dead, rise and live in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thou sayest all hail. You are risen. You are risen. Thank you. Because you live, we shall live also. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You are healing them. Every defeat and ailment in the bones, in the spine, in the neck, in the shoulders, in the hands. Leave. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly. Honestly. Jesus is healing you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Maria. Jesus is healing you. Maria. Jesus is healing you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Newton, Newton, Jesus delivers you, blesses you, blesses you. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you, thank you, Newton, Jesus blesses you with a new future. Thank you, Jesus, thank you. Every tear is wiped away, every tear is wiped away. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you, Agnes. You have a disease in your ears, Jesus heals you, heals you, heals you heals you. Every defeated piles, every defeated fits, fits and autism. Leave, leave. Jesus commands. Holy Spirit delivers. Holy Spirit delivers. Jesus commands with compassion. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, every defeated fear and palpitations. Leave, leave, leave. Every defeated poverty. Jesus is blessing you with jobs, opening doors for you. He's blessing the labor of your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands and receive, receive, receive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You are concerned about the welfare of your servants. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. You give the power to prosper. Deuteronomy 8 verse 18. Receive, 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 receive. Everywhere salvation, 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 salvation. Thank you.
thank you, Jesus. Oh, as the bride, as the bride of Jesus, receive, receive, receive. No more failures, no more death, no more sin, no more darkness, no more sorrow, no more weakness. Receive, receive, receive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus is healing the legs, the feet, the ankles, everywhere, muscles, every internal organs, reproductive organs are healed. Jesus commands healing. Jesus commands life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You may be anyone. Receive. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. You may be anyone. Jesus loves you. He blesses you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every chest pains are leaving. Thank you, Jesus. Body pains are leaving. Skin ailments are leaving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Intestinal diseases are leaving. Mental diseases are leaving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Imbalances are leaving. Immune systems are rising. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, peace, peace of Jesus, peace of Jesus, joy of Jesus and the holiness of Jesus and the victory of Jesus and the comfort of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you is all yours and ours. Now Jesus is blessing you. Thank you, Jesus, healing you, delivering you, saving you. Oh, with life, life, life in abundance. Receive, 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 receive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen, Amen and Amen. We give you time to examine yourself because Jesus heals instantly, delivers instantly, saves now. Check yourself, mental agonies would have gone. The defeated fear, the defeated agony, the defeated disease, the defeated symptoms would have gone. Check your eyes, check your ears. Check your mouth, check your hands, move your hands, check your legs, rise, walk, bend down and see. Wherever you had a defeated, defeated disease or a defeated symptom before, check yourself. That's your faith. That's your faith. Faith works. Faith works. We must be doers, doers of the word of God. That man threw his coat and came to Jesus, believing, believing, believing. And Jesus opened his eyes. He threw away his coat before, before, before he was practically healed. Oh, are you doing that? Check yourself. When you check yourself with faith, faith in Jesus, faith in Jesus, you will know you are healed, you are delivered, you are saved. Oh, no more sin, a new heart, a new mind, a new body, a new future, a new blessing, a new peace, a new joy. You have received it. Write to us. Send us your emails. Send us your emails with testimonies. Send us your prayer, praise reports, praise reports, your testimonies in email, in email. Send it. Send it to us. Your prayer request. Prayer request. Send it to us by email. We will pray for you with compassion. Send us your testimonies. Check yourself, your praise reports by email, send it to us, your prayer request, send it to us. And by email, we will pray for you with compassion. And dear people of God, pray for others, bear the burdens of others. Jesus loves you. We are going to say the benediction from our ministry me and my precious dear wife, Suhanti, and our precious dear daughter, Divina. I'm asking Jesus to bless us all. May the love of God the Father and the great grace of God the Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, risen, whose blood has saved us. Thank you, Lord. And the great love and compassion and the life of God through the very power and the person, God, the Holy Spirit, be with us all, within us all, around us all, upon us all, ahead of us all, in the rear of us all, now and forever, until and when Jesus comes in midair to rapture us, as we live physically, practically on this earth in these long more years, serving him faithfully, fearfully, fervently, fruitfully, fully as his true bride to be caught up in midair with Jesus, with our child's daughter's generation 
your children's generation or in whatever way you are caught up in midday with Jesus with all his true beloved ones everywhere like Enoch, Enoch and Elijah raptured in midday with Jesus with our generations as his true bride and thereafter in heaven in our father's mansions to live, rejoice, reign with him with rewards, crowns, marriage of the land and our generation's grandchildren. Oh, forever and ever eternally with Jesus. John 14, verse 2 and 3. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus loves you, loves you, and loves you. This little baby is called Jared. And you can see he still has the IV line yes, in his yes, hand. Yes, yes. He was suffering from severe asthma. Mm. From when he was a month old. And tonight he is totally asthma free. This is the mother and she's testifying he can breathe normally. She's breathing. Since I came to pray, but the whole last month I cannot sleep. The whole night the baby is shaking. Mm. But now I can see the baby is okay. Wow, the baby is okay. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.